All right, so here we have one angle in a triangle has a measure that's three times as large as the smallest. All right, so let's let x equal uh, the smallest. And so one angle is three times as large. So 3x equals another angle. And the measure of the third is 20 more than that of the smallest. So x plus 20 equals third angle. Maybe we should write instead of another, maybe we should write second. Okay. So the one angle is three times as large as the smallest, so that would give us 3x. The measure of the third angle is 20 more than the smallest, x plus 20. Now we need to find the measure of the largest angle. But if we find the measure of the largest angle, we might as well find the measure of all of them because it's pretty easy to just plug in and get the values. So sometimes, even though they ask for one and, and mom, sometimes you should probably figure out all of them and then that's how you're gonna do your check. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say x plus 3x plus x plus 20 equals 180. Okay, well here we have three common factors and one that's not, so let's subtract it over here. So those are gone. So we have one, two, three, four, five x equals, and that's gonna be one, six, zero. So x is equal to, well, we should probably write the divide there. Divide by five, divide by five. So x is equal to, now again, we can do this pretty quick with by hand. That's going to be a 3. That's 15. Subtract. That's 1, 0. Bring them down. That's 2. That's 10. Subtract. That's 0. So that's 32. Remember your uh, units. In this case, it's degrees. So that's the smallest. Now, 32 times 3, well, that's going to be a 6 and 9. So 3x equals 96 degrees. And our last one is x plus 20. Well, that's going to be 20 plus 32. That's going to be 52 degrees. Now, our check would be add all those together. 32 plus 96 plus 52. Now, if I can remember all those. 32, 32 plus 52 plus 96. And we get 180. So it does check out. So those then are our three measures, even though this is the only one they actually asked for is the 52. But we got all three so we could do our check. All right, so we're doing a rectangular room. So let's draw a rectangle first before we do anything. So it says a rectangular room is two times as long as it is wide. The perimeter is 48 meters. Find the dimension of the room. And it should probably be dimensions. So perimeter is equal to 48 meters. Uh, the room is two times as long as wide. So if this is wide, long is equal to two times that. Okay. And find the dimensions of the room. And let's 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 go ahead and say let's also say find the area because that's another problem that we could easily do once we find those two dimensions. So what do we know about perimeter? Well, perimeter is two l plus two w. So 48 equals, well, 2 times w is 2w, plus 2 times this is going to be that, okay? Now we have 2w plus 2 times 2w, so that's 48 equals 2w plus 4w, so that's 6w. Divide by 6, so w equals what? Well, that equals 8, and we're looking at meters. Okay, well, L then is equal to what? Well, L is 2 times 8, so that's going to be 16 meters. Okay, so what we could do is we could say, okay, well, let's check our and see if our perimeter is right. 2 times 8 plus 2 times 16, that's going to be 16 plus, and that's going to be 32, and that's going to be 1 and 4, and that's going to be 8, so 48. So that checks out for our measurements. Now, the only thing left over was I added that. Let's find the area. Well, area, again, is length times width. So area is equal to 8 times 16. And 16 times 8, that's 48. That's 12. So 128 
And remember, it's meters squared because we have a meter times a meter when we take our uh, units that way. And so that then is our area. Okay. All right, so that's all I have. I hope that helps you.